building on the work we want to get for our calf ankle feet complex, we're going to work on our tibialis raises. And so the tibia is the long bone in the shin, and we have the tibialis anterior that runs along the front and the tibialis posterior that runs directly behind it. Those are primarily responsible for dorsiflexing actively. They are also what absorb the load eccentrically as we go when we land. So when we jump, we drive off, those muscles are working. So again, these are things if you want to start, you can't do too much of these because they're generally very underworked. We're going to start these just generic tibialis raises. So walk, so you're sitting into the wall, leaning forward, lifting up, and then back down. Up and back down. So notice it's a control, lifting all the way up, and then lower and back down. Keep the knees straight and locked out, okay? Don't do this where you're compensating. And now, it may be any situation for you. I have a harder time getting my left one to work, so what I'll do, especially if I'm not feeling it, I'll balance and lift one foot up and hold that and then slowly lower back down. And you can alternate left and right as you do that until you feel that. But you want to feel a nice little burn in the front of the shin. Now secondary, if you're having a harder time doing that, what you want to think about is you can start to do this as an isolation exercise. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can run through this. This is one that's been very helpful. Essentially taking any type of strap you can get creative, I mean, this took some time to figure it out. Grab a strap or anything that allows you to attach weight to the foot, okay? The whole point is you don't want it to move. And you're here holding on to it. You let the weight lower down, so you get a nice long stretch in the top of the shin, and you hold back up, and then you lower down. The only thing I found is that if you, you can help pull this up, but also if you're pulling it, you're gonna take away from the work it's doing. So control down and then really let the tibia pull back up and control down and then pull back up and squeeze. And as you fatigue, you can use your hand to help and then get to the top, keep that leg flex, and then slowly resist it all the way down, get a nice stretch. This is a great way to start to get muscle and strength in that movement because otherwise it's hard to isolate that, right? So again, the tibia is very, very important and it's generally underworked. So what we want to think about is getting more blood flow, more activation to that, because our feet and our ankles are very, very important. First point of contact with the ground, and if we're not careful, what happens is these muscles not working well means all that pressure goes here. So the baseline of building up a knee, a strong, resilient knee, is strengthening the muscles in our feet, arches, ankles, calves, and tibialis, as well as the hip flexors. But we'll go through all of that. That's just the bottom portion.